Robomate Plus, India's largest curriculum based study app. Download the app now. Well, friends, welcome back. In this module, we are going to understand the type of questions that can be asked and how do we tackle these questions. Let's again go back to section A drama. In this section, you may be asked questions with relation to words or phrases related to Greek mythology or with respect to the Shakespearean era. I'm talking about the MOV, Merchant of Venice. For example, if it's an extract from Act 1, Scene 3 of the Merchant of Venice, the meaning of fawning publican may be asked. An extract from MOV, Act 1, Scene 1 would ask the meaning of Golden Fleece or Act 4 about Parabas. No, no, no. Don't expect me to give the answers standing here. Go through your notes. Go through your book. You will get the answers. You may get inscription based questions. You need to know the inscriptions on all the caskets verbatim, word by word. Plot based questions may also be asked. For example, why has Antonio been shown as a melancholic character in Act 1, Scene 1? Okay, there could be subplot questions like questions based on Launcelot or Gobbo who are just in the play for comic relief. And then you may have that peculiar question. You may get a passage from one scene and a question from an earlier or a later scene. For example, the passage may be from Act 2, Scene 7, where Morocco chooses the caskets. But the question may be from Act 2, Scene 1, where Morocco makes an entry. The extract may have Prince of Aragon's dialogue, but the question could be, who finally chooses the right casket? In Mousetrap 2, you can be asked questions about, well, English husbands being boorish. Or why Mrs. Boyle asks Miss Caswell whether she was a socialist. Please frame clear answers. Do not make spelling mistakes in the names. Sometimes the answer may be just one sentence, but is that good enough for three marks? No. So what do you do? Give a small introduction before the exact answer. Please do not write an essay. That's the part one, paper one. Write only that part which is connected to the answer. Let's have a look at section B, the poetry section. One stanza may be given and the question may be asked about what happens later or earlier. Let me give you an example. Bangle sellers. You could have a question which bangles have been mentioned in a later stanza. Or the questions may be theme based. What is the message that the poet is trying to convey in the heart of the tree? You may be asked about symbolism. For example, what are the symbolisms used or which are the symbolisms used in the poem Abu Benazim? The question could be about a poem's relevance to the current times. For example, discuss the relevance of the poem The Cold Within in today's times. Minute details in poems are very important. Represent the idea of the poem clearly in your answers. Meanings of certain phrases or literary devices could also be asked. Example. What is the pun involved in the line, they didn't die from the cold without, they died from the cold within. Fantastic. So, getting the hang of it, my dear friends, let's have a look at section C. In this section, the prose section, the question may be about learning from the chapter. Example, a question from the blue bead, how does Sibia come across as a down-to-earth girl. It could be 
the theme of a chapter. For example, what message does Hans Christian Andersen want to convey to the story, The Little Match Girl? It could be a personal response question. What do you feel could have happened to the old man after the narrator left him at the bridge? Open-ended question. This question is from, of course, old man at the bridge. It could be a character sketch question. For example, character sketch could be about any of the characters in the 10 short stories that we have. So be thorough with all the characters in the stories. Factual questions. You will be given an extract of a chapter and asked a question about something that does not appear in that extract. It may be a dialogue between Muni and the foreigner. A question about the description of the statue of the horse may be asked. This description is not given in that particular extract. So please make yourself thorough with every part of all the chapters and stories. A question may be asked whether two side characters in hearts and hands are from the West. The tendency may be to say yes because they are traveling from the west to the east. But try and remember there is a line where one of them remarks, some of these western fellows are all right, which means, well, this statement reveals that these characters are not from the west. These questions are asked to test your capability in presenting your ideas in a concise manner. Coming to the eight mark question, divide them into five paragraphs. Paragraph one, the author, title, theme. Para two, discuss the character or the characters. Para three and four, answer to the question that has been asked. Yes, here is where you are going to write an answer to that question. Para five, conclusion with the summary and learning of the story. Right? And you are rocking that too. Finally, before we say goodbye to each other, let's look at the time allotment. 20 minutes for every main question, so that makes it a total time of 100 minutes. The remaining 20 minutes can be utilized for going through your answers. Please do not leave out the revision of any chapter, poem or any scene from the drama thinking you will manage with the options. Right? Okay, don't do that. Otherwise, you may end up praying to God in the exams, and we don't want that. Believe me, if you are thorough with every chapter, poem and scene, you can walk in like a king into the examination hall and walk out like an emperor. All the very best. Love you guys. God bless you all. Thank you for watching this video lecture. To watch more such interesting videos, attempt tests, and to get instant analysis, download the RoboBait Plus app now.